Hi Pisces, this is going to be your general love reading for March 2022 and it is for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs in Pisces. And it is a general reading, so it's not going to be everybody's situation, but if you would like a personal reading, you can find all that information in the description box. And do keep in mind that for this reading, because it's general, the rules can be reversed. All right, Pisces, let's see what is going on with you. First half of March, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. All right, for the situation, we have the Five of Pentacles crossed by the Knight of Cups. Okay, so feelings of loss, feeling rejected maybe, feeling abandoned, um, feeling at a loss. I feel is the main theme here, possibly because somebody has not um, come forward. And it could even be that it's, it could be that one person is feeling um, this abandonment because the other person has not come forward to offer them love, or it could even be the same person feeling this way because they have not made a move. All right, so we'll see once we get deeper into the reading. For your energy, we have the Eight of Cups, the King of Wands, and the Queen of Pentacles. Okay, so I feel like you're taking a difficult road here. You're trying to detach. You're moving away from a connection. So again, I mean, if this is, like I said, this could be you. This, this could be, um, for example, this could be you feeling sadness, feeling loneliness, feeling like you have to move away from this if it just wasn't um, something that aligned with you or that resonated with you. Um, you're doing it. I feel like it's, it's a difficult thing for you to do, but I feel like you're pretty much doing it and moving towards, towards healing yourself from whatever happened here. Let's see for them. We have the star the Lovers, and the Seven of Swords. Okay, so Aquarius and Gemini showing up in the other person's energy here. Again, roles can be reversed. So this is a person who has a lot of hope for, for a connection here, for love. But I feel like they're not really doing much about it. So again, for that same, same reason, it could be that it's this person feeling um, alone because they have not taken action, okay? So I feel like it, it's kind of like you're both feeling this. You're both feeling this Five of Pentacles energy. You're both kind of feeling this sense of loss, this sense of being alone, being alone because um, somebody just did not make a move here. But you're both feeling that, even the person who's the one who didn't make the move. Um, yeah, so this person here is hoping for, for this, right? They still have hope, just not really um, doing much about it. Let's see, potential outcome. We have the hanging man. Okay, so possibly, yeah, I feel like for the time being, there is, there is still a pause here, trying to see things from, from a different perspective. I mean, the hanged man can also come in with a lot of lessons. So I do feel like there are lessons that are being learned through this in order to get some results either way, whether it be to move, move away from each other or whether it be for things to come back together. It's not clear. Let's see. Just had the emperor flip over. All right. So let's see the Five of Pentacles with the King of Knight of Cups. The Nine of Cups, the Nine of Swords, and the World. Yeah, it definitely feels like an ending here. Um, but it's the reason why you're both feeling so sad about it is because you're feeling like it's an ending to something that felt like a wish. A wish um, fulfillment, basically. But for whatever reasons, you know, it just couldn't be. It couldn't come together. And this is, it's creating sadness, it's creating pain, it's creating stress, it's creating anxiety. It's like 
someone didn't move towards something even though that's what they really wanted. And I feel like that's been a theme um, for, I don't know if it's just for this round. I feel like it's been maybe the last couple of rounds of, of um, readings that I did as well. All right, let's see the Eight of Cups for you. The King of Pentacles and Temperance. Yeah, it definitely feels like you're moving away from, from a commitment, from something that you thought was going to be solid. For some of you, and this is going to be for a small group of you, for some of you this might be related to family. It might be moving away from, I don't know why I'm getting that, from, from a particular person in your family or just from family in general. Um, it could even be that if it's about this person, that this could have been someone that you've been married to for some of you. Um, but again, that's not going to be for all of you. All right. Um, point is you're moving away and it, again, it's not easy. It's not easy. And it's something that does take a little bit of time. It takes some patience, but I feel like you are finding your balance as you move away from this, from this connection, at least for now, regardless of what might happen in the future. Let's see for the King of Wands. The Seven of Wands and the Two of Pentacles. You're pretty much fighting through this. You're fighting through this because it's not easy, as I said. It's definitely not easy. There might be a little bit of back and forth so going on within you, but you're still overpowering that back and forthness. You're still able to manage. You're still able to move forward. And for some of you, I feel like you're being met with some resistance from the outside, like possibly from other people that are making it more difficult for you, but I feel like you're still just <laughs> um, doing a really good job of moving in the direction that you feel is going to be for your own best. Let's see the Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles again, and the Four of Swords. Yeah, this is clearly healing. This is clearly healing. Um, I'm even getting that for some of you, you know, going through whatever it is that you've been going through, you may have even had some physical symptoms um, showing up. And that's, those were like psychosomatic symptoms that because you were going through either something very stressful, something very painful, something very um, anxiety provoking, it manifested into physical symptoms. And I feel like as you're moving away from this, you're healing. You're healing um, mind, body, and soul, basically, all together, because they're all connected. All right, so let's see what's going on with this other person here. So for the star, we have the Six of Wands and Death. This person definitely feels like this is, this is a, like, it feels like a real ending to them. However, they still have hope. They still have hope for this. There's, they're still wishing for this. This is still something that, that they want. Let me see the lovers. Seven of Swords showing up again for them and the Six of Pentacles. This person wants to give something to you. Um, I don't know if maybe it's that for some of you, okay, this might not be for all of you again. Um, for some of you that maybe this person was just not giving to you at all. And it's like, now they want to. 
There's something that they want to give to you, but again, they're not. They're not. Um, I feel like this person is just not doing anything, anything that they want, which, you know, maybe there's a reason for that. Maybe there's a reason for that. Um, but currently, yeah, it feels like they're... Maybe because they feel like it's done, so there's no point. Let me see the Seven of Swords. The Page of Cups and Judgment. I have a sense that this person is trying to avoid having to confront, um, either trying to avoid confronting how they feel and something that they want to say to you. It almost feels like if this person, even though they, they do have hope and they do want this, if they were to come or make a move towards you, there, there might be something that they have to admit to. And that is what might be hindering them. That is what is making it difficult for them. Alternatively, they're just holding back on how on how they feel because it's like they feel like this feeling like even though the, the ending is real that there's just no way that this can't come back together. Feeling like eventually this connection will work out, that something will happen and you will um, be back together or come together if you were not together in the past. Uh, but I'm seeing it more of the two of you having had been together for most of you and this person just feeling like, you know what, like we're going to come back together anyway. But there's something here I feel um, revolving around forgiveness as well with the Page of Cups and Judgment together. And it's like this person wants to avoid that. It could even be, if, if it's not that they want your forgiveness, it could be that they want to forgive themselves about something and that could be holding them back as well. Or maybe not being able to forgive you for something. But whatever the case, I do get that there's something here that they just are kind of avoiding um, having to face or having to confront in terms of forgiveness. All right, so let's see the hanging man. The high priestess and the nine of pentacles. There's definitely a shift in perspective here. A shift in perspective, which is actually more in alignment with intuition and with a deeper sense of knowing, especially in terms of either self-worth or, you know, being independent, being self-reliant, being unattached from something. So I feel like that shift in perspective, I mean, it could, it could go either way. It could be for you, it could be for them, the both of you. But I feel like it's, it's actually a positive, all right? So there's no indication here of whether this is a permanent break or if there is a coming back together. I feel like for the time being, it's a little bit of this um, pause in order for whatever is happening here to kind of resolve for each of you separately first. And then, you know, the rest is to be dealt with later or, you know, it could go either way later. But for now, yeah, it's this hanging man. There's a shift in a perspective which is actually a positive one. And it's going to bring more positive results in the, in the near future. All right, interesting reading, Pisces. All right, I didn't call out that we did have Scorpio appear here with um, with the death card. 
All right, so if this resonated for you, the final message that we have here is new moon in Libra, a new romantic cycle begins. All right, yeah, so all of this is leading up to a new romantic cycle, either together with this person or for some of you possibly um, with an, a new connection or somebody different. So yeah, take that as it resonates. All right, Pisces, those were your messages. Thank you so much for watching. Much love.